for your classroom investigation lesson four. So the first thing you want to double click on your graph and you're going to change the scaling from um, the auto to manual and you want to change the axis size. You're going to go from 0.8 on the top to 0.2 on the bottom. And then that's on your Y axis and you're going to do the same thing for your X axis, except that the left will be zero and the right will be two seconds. Once you get that set up, you want to get to the experiment, go to data collection. From data collection, we're going to change the duration to two seconds, and we're going to change the sampling rate to 25 samples per second. So now I've got my graph set up and it matches the graph that your students have. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit this collect button. And we should see, there we go, the axes changed and we can see that it's just a straight line because there isn't any motion. I do a soft hit and hit collect at the same time. And we can see that graph. I'm going to hit store so that I save that graph's information. And then I'm also going to hit collect again when it's not moving. So we have that baseline. And then finally, I am going to hit store again to keep that there. And then I'm going to do a hard hit. And so we can see the difference. I'll try that one more time. See if we can get an even bigger one. I'm going to hit the store. Do a big movement. Okay, and we can see some differences in those graphs there. So now I'm going to show you, we've saved these um, shots of different amplitudes for the longer stick. And now we have our shorter stick. Okay, and I'm going to store it. And I'm going to do a baseline. Okay. Now I'm going to do a really hard hit. Oh, let me hit store. And one last one as just a super gentle hit. Okay, and so we can look at what this is telling us.